Hello everyone and welcome back to Make Your Mind. This, for me, I guess is a sort of offshoot or maybe an auxiliary video to the couple of sculpture showcases that I've done in the past. I've done... I've been covering the Aliens franchise. Or the Alien franchise, I guess you could call it. And, uh... I, I must admit, I've been getting a lot of nostalgia back, so I kind of made... A bunch of props and stuff from... And this is specifically the second movie. This is Aliens. And uh, I actually brought this in here. This is my Blu-ray copy of the movie. So these props are going to be based on this movie right here. Look at that thing. That war is so gnarly. It's so cool. I love this. This time, it's war. Nah, it's all good. It's my favorite movie of all time, so don't mind me if I geek out a little bit. But uh, I made a couple of, I made a couple of both weapons and props from the movie, out of clay here, and I would like to show them off. So let's get to it, shall we? We're going to start off with a tool that all of the Colonial Marines use. It's used to open doors. It's used to seal doors. It's used to cut open metal. It's used to open access panels, and it's used to basically slice through or seal anything that can be considered a bulkhead, a door, or an extension of whatever you're trying to do. And that is the Mark Echo 3 ME3 welding tool. You can always see these in the movie. Vasquez uses one of these to seal the door before the aliens actually bust through it. And Hicks uses one of these to cut open the floor so they can get to nude. But she ends up getting captured in the movie. So here is the Mark, excuse me, the Mike Echo Welder, the ME3. That's the first prop. Now the second one, if anyone has seen the movie, they know what this sound is. I'm not going to play it for you, I don't have it up right now, but... Just by looking at this, you'll know exactly what this is. This is the Mark 314, the Mark 314 Motion Tracker. Look at this thing, man. So you got the unit with the sensor coming out the front. It's got these auxiliaries right here. It's got the battery pack that's located in the back. And then right here is the screen. As you can see, I got the blue screen with a bunch of white contacts. We got multiple signals. And they're closing. Yeah, look at that. So that's the M314 motion tracker. So that's the next prop. Now we're going to get into the nitty gritty. We're going to get into some of the weapons. And this weapon is used by Frost, it's used by Sergeant Apone, it's used by Drake. And Ripley uses one of these at the end of the movie, and that is the Mark 240, the M240 Flamethrower, the Flamer Unit. Look at this thing, man. This thing looks so cool. What's funny is that when you actually see the prop, you'll notice that you have the ejection cover, you have the bolt catch, you have the... You basically have the... the you have the bypass button for the bolt, and you have the carrying handle from an AR-15, which is actually interesting to see that, but it's a funny to see those AR-15 parts on a, uh, on a prop flamethrower, but this thing is so cool. Look at that. It's got the blue flame coming out the front. So there is the M240 flamethrower. And then now we're going to get to probably the most recognizable sci-fi weapon maybe in movie history, and that is this. This is an M41A pulse rifle, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter over and under 30 millimeter pump action grenade launcher. Look at this thing, man. This is so distinctive. As far as sci-fi weapons go, you got you got the the actual prop that they used for the movie was actually a combination of a Thompson M1A1 submachine gun. It was a World War II submachine gun, and then the bottom here was a Remington 870 pump-action shotgun that was cut down to 15 inches, made a custom shroud, and then literally just bolted it to the bottom of the barrel and had the trigger assembly sitting out such so that the rifle would actually wrap around. And to shoot the shotgun is actually through this trigger here. And then here's the trigger for the actual rifle. You got the ammo counter right here that goes all the way up to 95. And then they have an adjustable stock in the back. You have this sort of rail that goes all the way down the front. And this is the M41A pulse rifle. 
So these are the couple of props that I made, but uh, just to show you a little bit of how big of a fan I am, let me go ahead and move these out of the way, and I'm going to show off a couple of, uh, I guess a little bit of Aliens merchandise and memorabilia that I have. If anyone is an Aliens fan, and I truly mean anyone, of course you want to get the, you want to get the physical copy of the movie itself, like my Blu-ray, but you also want to get this. Alan Dean Foster's novelization of Aliens. It even has the same cover as the Blu-ray as well. Check that out. The same. But this is an awesome novelization. It tells a lot more detail of the movie than you would normally get. But if you want the prequel and the backstory to the movie Aliens, get this. This is Christopher Golden's Alien River of Pain. This is the entire story talking about Basically, the whole colony and the entire backstory when it comes to what happens on LV-426, and it gives you a lot of context. This is a fantastic novel. And then, if you want to see what I consider to be the true sequels to Aliens, I would get these, if you can. These are the books, and they also have comic adaptations by Dark Horse of the Aliens Earth War. This actually talks about how the aliens actually ended up making their way to Earth and slowly infested Earth. So you got the Earth Hive that has the queen on the cover. I've had this book for I've had this book for about 15 years. This is one of my absolute favorite books. You got the Earth Hive and then here's Nightmare Asylum with the OG warrior alien, the drone with the dome. Essentially an alien gets caught on board their ship when they're trying to escape planet Earth because of the alien infestation on Earth. And then, when they find out that there is actually a leader to the Xenomorphs, and there is in fact a Xenomorph homeworld, you then are introduced to the Queen Mother Alien through this. Aliens of the Female War. I, as you can see, this book's got a lot of whiting. I've had these books for... I got all three of these at about the same time. These books are absolutely fantastic in space. She is the ultimate enemy. Written by Steve Perry and Stefani Perry. These are... these. This is one of the best series that you'll get. And this is what I consider to be the true sequel to Aliens. I know a lot of people like Alien 3. No... Hey, you'll get no hate from me if you like Alien 3. It's just not my kind of movie. But then... If you want to get even more backstory... You can get these. These are my copies of Aliens... Newt's Tale. Look, I love the artwork. Look at this. It's very Giger-esque. But this, these are actually the graphic novels that actually show what happens when the colony gets invaded by the Xenomorph Hive. And then, of course, this is the first book, which is Newt's Tale. And then this... The second book, look at that artwork. You got Newt hiding basically near the hive, and the warriors are hunting for her. They're running around the vents trying to find her. And they talk about, in this book, they talk a lot about how, oh, yeah, look, Dark Horse Comics. I love these so much. But they do show that the aliens were specifically trying to hunt Newt because she actually, she was able to divert them for so long. So this is just a couple of things that I have that are aliens. But then I also did want to show this, and uh, let me go ahead and what I wanted to show you is actually my inspiration to making this. I think I did show this on a previous video already, but screw it, I'm gonna show it again. Let me do a quick jump cut and I will show it to you. Okay, I'm backed off my desk here, and uh, well, to inspire me to make that M41A pulse rifle, I have this. <laughs> Indeed. This is my one-to-one -one scale replica resin M41A pulse rifle prop. This is a this is a prized possession of mine. I actually received this from a good friend of mine for my 30th birthday, and you know who you are, Charlie. Thank you so much again for this. He even has the period correct strap on here. These things are actually, they, they seem like they're basic, but they're actually very hard to come by. 
you can see, it's got the shotgun with the shroud under here with all the different cuts. It's got, there's the bolt. This doesn't move. Nothing on this prop actually moves. But for a static prop, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. The only thing I do have to do, and I maintain, is that I have to, I have to unscrew this bottom plate and I need to replace the battery for the counter. The counter actually turns on with a button right in here. But as of right now, the counter doesn't work. So maybe in a future video, I'll show off uh, the counter and how it works. And the stock doesn't adjust either. This is all fixed. But here is the other side. As you can see, you got the sling strap. It comes out like that. Let me go ahead. There we go. So there is my one-to-one -one scale replica M41A pulse rifle. And I do have more Aliens props that I will be showing in future videos and a couple of uh, figures as well. But those will be coming soon. But now, let's go ahead and go back. Let's go ahead and go back to the uh, to the table. All right. So that was a little bit of a uh, that was a little bit of a showcase of my my basically my me being a fan of the Alien franchise and just overall just being and being just a just a giddy fan of this of this franchise. This is I've I've been a fan of this franchise since as long as I can remember. Since I was about six years old. When I was actually introduced to the first movie by my cousin, and uh, yeah, I didn't sleep. <laughs> I didn't sleep very much after that. But then after seeing the first one, and then saw the second one a couple of years later, and man, that that second movie for me, you know, hey, no hate, but the second movie for me, I believe that movie is a little bit better, just because it's a little more palatable for most audiences. The first movie is scarier by a major margin. The first movie is scarier. I will not I will not say that Aliens is scarier than Alien. There's no way. But the pacing in Alien is very slow. People got to really be involved in watching that movie whereas most people would much rather watch the second one because it's just it's a little bit it it starts slow, it gets faster and it has a lot more going on and it has a little bit bigger scale. So so for me the second movie is definitely uh, that's the movie that I do I mean, it's it's my favorite personally. No, no, the 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 first movie is literally that that close to being first. Mainly because I love the the atmosphere of the first one. I love the fact that it's truck drivers in space that are basically it's like being stuck in a. I loved Ridley Scott's. I loved his uh, his, I guess his description of the movie. It's like it's like seven, it's like seven sailors stuck on a submarine and then there's a tiger on the loose on board <laughs> so it's like jaws in space or like the texas chainsaw massacre like that's it's such a fantastic film but the second one for me has always been my absolute favorite just because i grew up with the kenner toys that was always aliens and that that movie was always a little bit more marketed because it was a little more palatable to most people and on top of that it had an it had a very good ending an ending that uh, sadly was never really fulfilled, but it's all good. It is what it is. I'm still a fan regardless. So with that, if you enjoy content like this, go ahead and leave a like down below. If you're a fan, leave a like and subscribe. And don't forget, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss the next video. I, uh, I'm i going to try to do as many of these as I feel like I should. I don't want to become a, a huge alien channel. If you want to, If you want to see cool alien channels i would definitely go check out two channels in particular i'll leave links to both of their channels down in the description below definitely subscribe to these guys alien theory and mr h reviews those two guys they're fantastic oh uh, and a third one uh, acid glow those are three channels i will leave a link to all of those down in the description and uh once again thank you so much for watching this was make your mind and i will see you on the next video.